Hello, and welcome to episode 122 of my Stellar Tactics tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on exploring the Rago system and crafting a basic mining laser. And that's the last thing on the ship uh, that will be basic to create. And then I'm hoping to go on to exceptional, but I need to check whether I've crafted all the different personal items that you can do on the ground missions. So anyway, so there we go. This is the last basic item for your ship uh, that I'm crafting, which is the mining laser. After that, I'm gonna try and do an exceptional hull armor for the ship. So start on the exceptionals. Anyway, for this episode, here's where we're gonna go, Ragu. Um, so I'm working my way now through the sectors going left, still through the sector one levels because I want to do beacons on all the trading stations to expand my trade net. So, right, let's head on over. Such a massive, massive space. So many systems to go to, it's just wonderful. You know, Fallout 1 and 2 or Baldur's Gate in galactic space. Absolutely wonderful game. Right, so I'll pause it here and load when I get into the system. See you in a moment. Right, so here we are. Let's take a look at the Ragu system. So there's quite a few planets, so that's cool. I'll be able to put down some mining drones. Uh, first things first though, let's put the beacon down. We forget to do that, we got big problems. So let's do it. Easy to forget. And once you've got down thousands of beacons, a nightmare <coughs> to find the system where you've not got a beacon. Because all you, well, I suppose it won't be that difficult because you will have your drones to be able to, sh it shows in the drone window what system they're in. But you're going to have to scan then through all the different systems that you've been to. Okay, let's pop down a beacon. That's now in my trade net. My trade net is now one system larger. Right, next thing, let's start scanning the planets, see if we can make some more money in order to buy more materials to salvage. And of course upgrades for the ship and personal armors. single node on each planet. Well, I suppose I've only got a couple of mining drones left anyway, so all the rest are busy making me money. Deploying all my drones, and then what I'll have to do is go when they get idle in other systems, go collect them, and then bring them back here to do the remainder of the uh, nodes which I've not. Because that, my friends, is all of my mining drones deployed. Oh, well, there's a couple idle, so I can go back to that system and pick them up and bring them back here and deploy them. But I won't do that now while recording because this episode was about scanning the different... Oh, let's finish scanning. There's one last planet. Scanning the planets and then 
salvaging a mining a basic mining laser and then making one so next let's go to let's go to the metallologies Oh, can I scan that? Yeah. Let's have a look who it is. Friend or foe? Well, it's friend, because it'd be red otherwise. Oh, they've been doing some mining. How much cargo can they hold? 48,000, wow. That could potentially be full of ore. So it could be worth a fortune. But I'm not into piracy. Oops. I targeted them by mistake. I shall pause it again while I load into the uh, space station and I'll see you on the other side. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can find the vendors and what they've got on them. Anything good. Maybe they got an epic item. Who knows? Ooh, there's them drones doing that selling. There we go, ship equipment vendor, that's who we want. Let's take a look at what he's got. I don't need to buy any more mining lasers, the basic ones, because I've bought enough already uh, in my cargo hold. I've got loads that are ready for salvaging, so I don't need to do that. Um, but I'm just having a look now to see if... for it, I'm looking for exceptionals now. Uh, not so much the exceptional gun turrets because I've got legendary equipped so it's going to be a long time before I upgrade them with ones I craft so I'm aiming for the armors exceptional armors because it all costs a lot of money see look an exceptional ship armor so and it's 109,000 so chewing through my money but I need to buy enough in order to salvage the schematic for exceptional Right, okay, so oh, I'll buy that as well. Also getting the exceptionals for the cargo expansions. Right, I'll pause while I find the crafting bench and then we'll get busy salvaging and crafting. Okay, so I found the crafting bench. What we're gonna do first, of course, though, is salvage. So I do that on my main character. Let's have a recap on what is salvaging. So I'm on 20, um, still waiting for the perk perks to be added for that so it'll be cool once they are because I shall be getting them and I'll show them right so let's go into salvage we're doing the basic mining laser and I'm going to disassemble all as you can see I've not got the schematic yet so I'm going to be doing the third option which gives me the most experience towards gaining the schematic 25% so let's do that There we go, basic mining laser schematic. Cool, now let's craft one. Right, so let's have a look. Here we go, basic mining laser. Notice it says rare. That's I got that schematic off of a ship I shot down in space that attacked me. Uh, so it's very generous to give me 
the schematic for the rare so I need to get I've got the basic I need the exceptional next and then I can unlock or create craft the rare anyway so it's the basic we want let's have a look so turret mount, mount you can choose between light and heavy um, if we take a look at the ship just to show you why so you've got your lights over here which are miss which I've got loaded with missile turrets and in my particular ship I've got two heavy uh, places I can attach uh, modules and three two for heavy and three for light so um, currently what's my mining laser the one that I've if I've, I've probably sold it by mistake or salvaged it but I did used to have a mining laser that I used it was quite a good one as well oh there I think that's the one I use so currently I've got a heavy and I doubt I'll be replacing that so anyway let's craft one uh, I'll do a I'll do a light. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do a light and a heavy. So let's do this first. Noticed I wasn't getting any quality then. I did then. So, hmm, let's have a look. Range energy use, so it's these three that you can do. I guess the range has got to be the good one. Right, so that's a light. Let's now do a heavy. Oh, so you can, I didn't, I missed this bit. So you could re-roll the stats on it if you want. The nice thing is, it does not use any ammo. That is very nice. Uh, there we go, that'll do. There we go. Oh, so this one has range, capacitor use, energy use, and an additional reload speed. Hmm. The reload speed is going to be good because that means it will mine quicker. Yeah, so it, it's shortening the amount of time on it. The range, though, is also a nice one. Oh, I did have a lot of points. Let's do that and then reload speed. Right, okay, so that's that. There we go. So we got a light and a heavy. Let's go check them out. find them first of course ah so here's a crafty basic mining laser now the thing is though I haven't got um, my rare loaded in so it will be difficult to compare so let's have a look this is the light one so if I just look, the range is 1250 and reload 1184. See if I can find my rare mining laser. There we go. So 
yeah that's much better oh the range is not as good but the reload speed is much better so mm. well, what about the heavy one that I crafted is this the heavy yeah no well whether that's the heavy is it let's have a look does it tell us oh that's the light where did it put the heavy oh there's the heavy and also it's got HVY over it so so the reload speeds is not good at all the rare mining laser which I have is 9 so I much prefer, prefer that whilst with both of these that I've crafted their range is superior but the reload speed you don't want to be waiting that amount of time nine is much nicer so one thing for it we need to salvage these because we won't be using them and this time I will go for the materials and there we go okay right so that's what I wanted to show all done and dusted next we're going to try and move on to the like I say exceptionals so I want to try and make an exceptional ship armor so that hopefully will be the next episode wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye